Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 18th to the 24th of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Libra, please? Message for Libra, okay. So we have the world. I mean, that's a big energy. I mean, it's major arcana as well. Uh, big energy is the major arcana. Big influences. Okay. Message for Libra, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. An energy of be assertive. Very beautiful with the world card. Okay. So I'm going to pull four cards, Libra. The first card is you, your current situation. Second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go into deeper into the reading. And it will resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, Libra, so what do we have for Libra? And please, angel spirits, guides, message for Libra. 18th to the 24th of January 2021. What does Libra need to hear the most, please? Thank you. What does Libra need to hear the most? Thank you. Ten of Swords, your current situation. Challenge is the Empress. I mean, this is your ruler because it's Venus energy, Venus in Taurus. We have the Seven of Swords here. And the Six of Swords. Okay. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guides. 18th to the 24th of January 2021. Message for Libra, thank you. love it and it's very much what that world card is telling you ten of swords with the ace of swords we've got the hermit seven of swords we have the three of cups and the six of swords we have the queen of cups here bottom of the deck we have the queen of wands So Libra, there's definitely this energy with the world card. The world card is essentially the end of the major arcana journey, the fool's journey from innocence to worldly wisdom and the lessons and experiences that he learns along, along the way to, um, it's all part of life's rich learning curve, life experiences, good and bad that in the, in the world brings spiritual growth, emotional growth, physical growth in our situations and in as human beings. So the world energy is the end of that cycle, which is a sign of accomplishment, success. You've learnt some challenging lessons, no doubt, but you're ready to step through to a new phase of your life. And that is the win. That is the victory. That is um, the completion energy here. Something is finally over. And there's a wonderful energy of, I'm ready for the new. And the new is coming your way and it's in your imminent energy because this is your current energy here. The Ace of Swords is the new. The Ace of Swords is the victory and it feels over what challenged you, what hurt you, what floored you for a period of time. Um, there is, you're claiming some victory breakthrough. I am cutting cords of the past finally. And there's a message here. Now is the time for you to be assertive because for some of you, you have the power to almost kind of like complete one cycle that seemed to be painful. You know, the Ten of Swords is not easy energy. There's levels to this card, no doubt, but you know, it can be about loss. It can be about wounds, could be from uh, you know, uh, being stabbed in the back, unexpected wounds, you know, that kind of energy from people that you didn't expect it from. 
But nevertheless, the darkness is over and you can see the sun is rising, pushing the darkness away, bringing in some kind of breakthrough liberation towards a wonderful new beginning. So there's definitely an energy of now is your opportunity this week to finally release a painful past energy. Negative energies of the past. Hurtful energies of the past. And this is the sword, the crown of power. You're being given your power back. Um, this is a sense of self, a sense of honor, a sense of integrity. Um, it's almost kind of like this energy of let the truth of the situation set you free. Suddenly you're becoming to see everything clearly and ready to release whatever this Ten of Swords was. And the message is you have been healing. You know, the Hermit is a card of healing and this has been your challenge. There's a, there's a difficult, there's been a challenge in terms of sowing new seeds because you've still been healing from the past. You know, and, and the Empress is the birth of something new. She is very much connected to, I mean, she can be in terms of money areas, can be in terms of love areas, can be in terms of just somebody who is in their element, ready to be their own person again. You know, she is somebody who lacks for nothing. She's a very self-sustaining energy. She represents abundance. She represents nurturing and healing and reconnecting to who you are. And somebody who's very connected to who they are. They understand how to just be. Um, definitely get in this energy, Libra. You have been healing. You have been finding direction in how to overcome some hurts of the past. And this week, there's definitely this energy of some kind of change, some kind of final completion here of I'm done with it. I'm ready to step through a new cycle and cut cords with whatever hurt me of the past because I'm reclaiming my power over something that claimed me for a period of time. And, you know, the Seven of Swords, I mean, it can be a card of deception. Uh, it's the thief energy, you know, stealing, um, using whatever means necessary. You know, it's that kind of energy to to get what you want. It's, it's this kind of energy. So it, it could be deception. Um, underhanded, somebody not being who, they, who you thought they were, you know, in whatever context. Um, but it feels whatever, it doesn't feel like a very trusting energy, the Seven of Swords when I'm touching it. It feels in this energy, whatever deception or lack of truth or covertness that you've been dealing with, it's finally going to be over. The Three of Cups is a card of closure. It is a card of closure. Um, can be a card of emotional support as well for some of you. Um, but it definitely feels in this energy, the winter is over, the spring is here. Uh, I'm ready to receive new bounty. I'm ready to receive um, positive things coming in my life, lacking for nothing. It feels like you felt the lack for a period of time. And it's to do with whatever this Seven of Swords was. But finally, you're ready to cut the cords, break free, detach, move from troubles and put it behind you. Because the Queen of Cups is somebody, I mean, it can be matters of the heart. Let's be, you know, she can deal with matters of the heart. She's a card of Cancer. The Queen of Wands is a card of Aries. Male or female energy. But um, the Six of Swords is a card of healing as well. Healing, reconnecting to who you are. I mean, this Queen of Cups is somebody who is connected to who she is. She has great awareness of self. She has mastery over her emotions, mastery over her getting emotional balance back in her life, putting the lid on situations that may have been emotional, you know, and reclaiming control over that. But she is somebody who understands how to, I am who I am, I'm connected to who I am, you know, um, and it definitely feels like that's what the Six of Swords is bringing in. I'm detaching from what's gone and I'm moving forward with great hope and anticipation towards this wonderful new beginning. It's a transition energy, the Six of Swords. It can be to do with traveling, it can be to do with moving, relocating, 
could be for jobs, could be in terms of life transitions. Um, but it definitely feels in this kind of energy. You're releasing baggage of the past. I mean, this is a, an energy of releasing baggage, putting difficulty behind you and moving towards better times. So there's a wonderful energy of positive shifts here, taking positive steps to bring some kind of completion into your life now. Absolutely. And again, this Queen of Wands, which is a power energy. And again, she's intuitive too. Reconnecting to your own power. You know, the Queen of Wands is somebody who sits in their own power, who takes decisive action to bring growth and success and abundance their way. And he definitely feels in this situation, abundance is waiting for you. Um, but And you're being illuminated on how to bring the new beginning, to plant new, new seeds for your future now. Um, there is definitely an energy this week of cutting cords in order to make the abundance come in, in order to bring the bounty, the nurturing energy of the Empress back into your life, to reconnect to who you are. Um, and I definitely feel in this situation, this is somebody who is back in their power. So something that seems to have controlled you, had power over you for a period of time, you are bringing out that warrior sword and cutting cords. And this is the air energy. This, this card is actually called the power of air. And it's for that reason. It's because it's the power given to you by God, the universe, the divine, to open a new door for yourself. It's very beautiful and claim your crown back. I can see crowns all over here. Crown, 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 crown. Yeah, and the victory crown. The victory crown. So it's a lovely energy here of something is finally over this week. And I, I kind of feel it's an energy to feel good about and to be ready to bring in the new you know, in that kind of an energy. You might be taking steps to move on in a situation. It could even be practical steps. Could be in terms of looking at homes. Could be in terms of, of moving country, you know, or moving county. I mean, call it what you will. Um, but there's definitely some kind of maybe key decisions that you're making about your future this week. But it feels very, very beautiful and with positive anticipation on sowing new seeds for your future. Very beautiful, Libra. So I'm going to pull a final card. Yeah, I do think there's such hope. It feels like a very hopeful energy. Hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic, optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. And I love the energy that there's definitely completion, completion, detachment, moving forward. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Libra. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.